fire is dangerous. There's no question about that. We got carbon monoxide, the heat, and then the fact that it ruins everything. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you could protect you, you and your things from this deadly thing. <laughs> this world for centuries, millennia, for ever basically. All right, the, when the cavemen said they discovered fire, it was really before that, but that fire was around before then, but they just, we just discovered that. So anyway, it's dangerous. <laughs> First, we're going to start off with the most common ways fire is started, and that is by cooking, all right? Or in the garage. So for the cooking, let's say something splashes and then it catches onto a towel. This is slightly damp, but you might have a harder time of catching fire, but let's just say it was dry and it caught fire and then it's hanging over like this and then it catches the wood and then got a mess. Next thing. In the garage, if you're working on a car and you spill some oil or gasoline and then you accidentally cause a spark by static electricity and it catches on fire, there's a lot of wood in the garages. Well, at least in mine, alright? So, that's how it's started. Another way is people, is careless smokers who smoke cigarettes and are careless about what they're doing with it. Alright, they just, you know, ash everywhere, like, oh, we got a cage. Well, I don't think they do that, but they accidentally get some, and then it burns, you know. Or let's say they put these cigarettes in the trash, and then, and then that catches on fire. Alright, and another, people playing with matches. Careless people thinking it's a good idea to play with matches, but it's really not, obviously. You should never play with matches because it is dangerous. Really dangerous. Alright, let's see what to do in case of a fire. Call 911 immediately if it's a dangerous fire. Alright, let me get my phone and demonstrate for you. Disclaimer, I'm not actually going to call 911. Alright, so I got my trusty phone. It's not plugged in. I don't even think it works. But, well, it's, the cords all tangled. That's the problem with these older, older models. Yeah. Alright, now I'm using this because there's no way to demonstrate on a mobile phone because, you know, alright. So let's say this was plugged in, so I, I punch in 911, the operator would ask for the emergency. You'd say, um, my house is on fire, I live on this street, alright, give your address, alright. And then they hook you up with, a fi with the fire department, right. And maybe send an ambulance just in case somebody is is injured in the accident. All right, so call 911. All right, get out of the house. Have a escape plan. All right, for ready. Escape for ready. All right. Now make sure you have a designated meeting so meet area so people don't come back in and risk their own life when searching for other people. So, because somebody thinks it's in the backyard, somebody else thinks it's over in the front by the telephone pole down the street. You know, then people go in and look for it, and then they get stuck and they die, all right? So let's say it's a small fire and you probably can't put it out. You know, good old fashioned water never, never fails. All right, you got yourself H2O will do the trick. Alright, you got yourself some water, you got yourself, you know, let's say, um, you got the garden hose, let, alright, got the garden hose over there by the garden, you can fill up water in can and bring it over here, you can use your sink if it has a detachable nozzle like, like this one, alright, oh dear, I have to, I have to put it back, it's not going back in, uh, thought it was spring water, but I guess it's not, alright, so, and then, of course, 
there's the best, oh, hold on, before we get into the most reliable method, or, well, they're all pretty reliable, but we got the fire blanket. All right, you put this over fire, so let's say I'm a raging fire, ah, put this over and then you tap it out and then you, um, and then it smothers it. All right, oh my gosh, I'm a ghost. Because, now, that works on the basic principle of the three key features of a fire, the fire triangle. I will put that on screen right now. But you need fuel, all right? For something to burn, it has to be dry. And then you need oxygen, all right, for the fire to breathe. And then you need heat, all right, to cause the fuel to ignite and make a fire. And, it need, and that triangle needs to stay consistent out of the entire fire's life. And so, all right, now when fire gets old, it doesn't die of old age. Um, it runs out of fuel, which die, and then it makes it dies. Or if you put a blanket on it, you remove the oxygen. And then the fire extinguisher, uh, water, that removes the um, oxygen and probably heat. All right, now the reli most reliable thing is, of course, a good old-fashioned fire extinguisher. One of these never fails, all right? Well, if you, if you don't know how to use it and you're a complete doofus, it's not the extinguisher's fault. It's probably your fault for not knowing how to do it. So read on the label. It has the instructions. And then it has down here the types of fire it will put out. So mine's is an ABC, perfect for households. I have two, which is the recommended amount for houses, one in the kitchen, one in the garage. Garage also recommended for, for like the spots. Now, amounts may vary depending on how much, how many floors or levels you have and how big your house is. All right. Um, I think it's based off square footage, I think. Uh, I don't know if, but for sure, but, all right, so how to use, mines can, well, mines can use trash, or like, like wood, or like ignition, like a towel, or like the trash, all right, and then we got gasoline for like the garage in case I spill some gasoline and it catches on fire somewhere, and you know, maybe it catches on a power tool and it gets hot, and, all right. And then we got electricity for like, you know, when I'm doing like vacuuming, I gotta pull the plug out. Sometimes that'll catch something on fire because it'll spark and then it'll, alright. Or when I, you know what, here's a story. When brushing my teeth, I have an electric toothbrush and the cord goes down into the, it goes past the door, which is not a smart location. We recently moved it. And so, because I accidentally Cut, cut the wire causing it to short out which caused an explosion and that uh, was not good all right so yeah gotta quickly end this because it looks like my computer is actually running out of batteries six minutes left holy cow um so yeah guys that is what you need to know about fire safety remember you should never play with matches be careful when smoking cigarettes. Be careful when cooking. Be careful when doing projects that involve fire, all right? Now, if you want to do fire experiments, do it outside in a well-ventilated area, away from any flammable materials, and always have a cup of water, or better yet, a fire extinguisher um, nearby just in case. Oh, big thing, never squeeze this Oops, sorry guys, I had to quickly end that. Or, well, it's not cool. I'm gonna finish off in this room. Because my battery was actually in critical condition. Dang, man, it's really... I have it plugged in now, so that's good. So, never squeeze a fire extinguisher because it'll discharge the pressure. Alright? Now, fire alarms. I want to talk about fire alarms for a little while. Alright? Fire alarms are great. Now, I actually did have a point where I find them quite fascinating, alright? Now, no matter how many time tempt, you know what, it is a big fat temptation to pull because it's big, it's red, it 
literally says pull on it. I want you to pull it. But remember, don't. It's illegal. Sadly. Now, unless you buy your own and then you don't hook it up to the fire department, you know. Then that's all. Then that's cool. Uh, but don't pull it unless if it's like, if it's actually somewhere. Hold on, I gotta do something real quick. Alright, so don't pull it because it's illegal. No. Sorry if it seemed like I jumped, but I lost my train of thought. So, yeah, don't pull it in case of a real emergency because it does actually trigger the fire department, and that's not good. You don't want to acti accidentally activate them. Alright? Also, with calling 911, never call it. Call 911 in case of an emergency because then that's actually illegal too. Sadly, but true. Because, you know, you're probably wasting some, bit, well, you're holding up a line for some, in case somebody could use it, and they don't, and that's one less op, 911 operator that they'll be able to respond to their emergency. So, don't call it just in case. Alright. So, it looks like that is all I got time for today, guys. Um, reviewing pass. Alright. Uh, oh wait, I never told you how to use a fire extinguisher, darn it. Um, pass. So, you pull the pin, you squeeze the trigger, so P, um, aim, aim, right. You aim at the base, because it doesn't do any good if you aim at the top. You want to aim at the base where the fire is, S for squeeze, and then S for sweep. Alright. Now if I did tell you, I, I apologize for the but That's, I guess that's a recap, alright. Alright, so the recap of today is, or like, so recapping real quick. So have a, have a, have accessible fire extinguishers in your house. Have a good ready plan just in case. Alright, end. Well, that was just great. I was in the middle of recapping the video when I was so rudely interrupted, so let's do that again, alright? So, we got, uh, have an accessible fire extinguisher, and know where it is, have a fire safety plan to get out of the house, alright? Um, be careful with flammable material, alright? So that, and know where fire alarms uh, Alright, know your fire alarms and know how to put out fires, um, know different methods of how and knowing how to put out fires, and also know when to call 911 and know how to, so don't, I wouldn't suggest practicing it like, I practice it like maybe on a toys phone that doesn't actually connect to anything, alright? So yeah, I truly hope you enjoyed that video. Alright, so, and all that stuff, um, you know, know where your fire alarms are, no one to call anymore, so just practice on a toy phone that doesn't connect, so you don't actually get in trouble with the law, because yes, it is illegal to call 911, yes, it's illegal to pull fire alarms, why? Because you're probably triggering, you're triggering false alarms, also, don't squeeze fire extinguishers, because, well, they can discharge, and you don't want that, alright? So, go ahead and buy my merch, um, stay super, remember to stay supercharged, leave a big fat like, and subscribe if you haven't already, stay, uh, and I will catch you in the next vid, peace. The purpose of this video is to save people's butts. Please, do not take this as a joke. Fires do happen, and they are serious. <laughs>